now we are going to see the method for finding out the square roots of the numbers for this purpose I have prepared two tables in the first table I have taken numbers and their squares in the first column I have taken the numbers from 1 to 10 and in second columns I have squares now in the second table I have shown you the last digit in the square and last digit in the square root. If you pay attention carefully to the first table, you can see that whenever the square has number 1 as a last digit, you can easily observe that in the square root it will be 1 or 9 as a last digit. Similarly, whenever number 4 is there as a last digit in square, we will have 2 or 8 as last digits in square root. For number 9, it is 3 or 7. For number 6, it is 4 or 6 as last digits in square roots. When you have number 5 as last digit in square, we have only one number that is 5 as a last digit in square root. And ultimately, if you have 0, the square root will have 0 as last digit. Pay attention carefully. You will never have 2, 3, 7 or 8 as last digits of perfect squares. As example 1, let us take a figure 7744. 4. Now the 4 is my last digit. So my square root will have digit 2 as a last digit or digit 8 as a last digit. Now my figure 7744 4 lies between the perfect squares 80 or 90 that is 6400 or 8100. So my square root will be between 80 and 90. So it can be either 82 or 88. But as you can see, my number 7744 is closer to 8100 than 6400. So, my square root will be also the higher number that is 88. So, as an answer, my square root is 88. So, square root of 7744 is 88. Let's take one more example. In 9801, my last digit is 1. So, my square root will end with 1 or 9. Now, let us consider the full number 9801. Now, this figure lies between the perfect squares of 90 and 100. That is 8100 and 10,000. So, my square root will be either 91 or 99. Now, as you can judge that 9801 is closer to the higher number. So, my square root is again the higher number between 91 and 99. Hence, square root of 9801 is 99. Let us take one more example. In 529, my last digit is 9. So, my square root will end with 3 or 7. Now, 529 lies between perfect squares of 20 and 30, whereas the number is closer to the smaller figure. My square root is 23 or 27 and since my number is closer to smaller figure, I can judge my square root is 23. So, square root of 529 is equal to 23. Now, this method is applicable for the perfect squares, but we have some other common methods too, which can be used for perfect squares or imperfect squares with decimal points.